Well, there are some types of friends. So let's look at it. First friends is somebody who you have actually, you know, made friendship uh, at a time when you were very naive and when you didn't even know that you were making friends. And this person is there uh, to, to know to stand by you or probably this person was there to stand by you in your ups and downs. And uh, this is uh, a person who you can, you know, you're still able to connect with uh, no matter the phases you are, you know, at, at the current uh, situation. Or you can instantly connect with them. You can easily uh, talk about the past and, you know, connect with them. So that such type of people are called as your first friend. The next is fair weather friend. So this person is somebody who you can... Uh, you know, confide only the good stuff, the good things, the cute things, the nice things. But they are not there to hear you out when you have an emotional or a financial or any type of problem. They don't like that hard kind of stuff. They don't like to even listen to it. Number three, the in imitation fake or artificial friend. So as the name suggests, this person is there who you can refer to as a friend only for conversation sake, only for namesake. And probably you are obligated to own this person because you are in a common group. The next is fun friend. This person is extremely fond of having fun and uh, they try to prioritize uh, parties and celebrations over other things. So it's good to have a fun friend, but still striking a balance is very important. Number five, fierce friend. This uh, person is a friend who can watch or discuss your day-to-day -day, uh, movements and moments. Uh, they could tell you upfront if you have made a mistake or if you are on the right or wrong track. They fear nothing and uh, they stand by you no matter what. They can be, you know, a great defender for you. And they would even go to the extreme of even probably throwing an egg on a car in your honor. So they are there to defend you and protect you, but they are also there to tell you off. <laughs> Number six, for now friends, this is uh, a friend who is, you know, for that moment, say you met them for a conference or a meeting and you just tend to talk to them and build that friendship because of the particular uh, circumstances. But um, you know that probably 10 years from now or five years from now, this person is not going to be there in your life. Number seven, the fluctuating friend or otherwise called the fickle friend. This friend is very hot at some times and cold at some times. So it's not, you know, a balanced type of a friend. Uh, this person could easily distance themselves uh, or they could easily stick on to you for a long time. So, but they love you immensely. The next is familiar friend. This is someone who you have known probably over the years and you, you, you've known them quite enough, but you're not really very close with them in your life. But still, you can catch up, you can hang out with them and um, you are comfortable and familiar with them. That's it. The next is flaky or blistering friend. This friend, uh, you have to be extremely careful when you make plans because they are very fond of cancelling plans. And uh, they never take the time uh, to give you, you know, the time. They never prioritize their time uh, to, to give you a schedule or to give you, you know, an appointment or something like that. Uh, so you need to be very careful with uh, blistering and flecky friends because they can easily give up on you. The next is forever friend. This is something like a best friend thing, which you can always connect with them, you know, no matter what's the up or down you face they're always there to stand by you and whatever dispute comes by you know it's just for that moment but uh, you will cross it all and you will be friends forever the next is a polar opposite friend this talks about uh, having a friend of a different cultural background only because we do not want to share the same perspective or the same opinions all the time it's good to have a uh, difference of opinions uh, shared so that you learn from each other and you share uh, each other's views, at least for common issues. So a polar opposite friend can actually teach us a lot of cultural aspects. The next is a work pal. I'm sure we all have this work pal because when you go to work out of the uh, entire lot, definitely there'll be a handful or maybe uh, a few of them who you could actually connect with them at work and because you say, share the same kind of wavelength. Um, but it uh, it's up to you whether you would like to you know, move this work pal to the next level and make him or her your forever friend. 
it totally depends on the individuals uh, so friendship uh, is of you know many types and if you notice the same type of people may be falling into two three categories or some people uh, may remain constantly in one particular category and it's okay if they overlap it's okay if they are stuck in the same category it's uh, ultimately up to us to understand the level of friendship with these type of people and whether it's worthwhile uh, investing money time energy uh, in these people depending on the types of friendship they are sharing with us so it's good to strike a balance and to keep you know friends at their respective levels because this is all based on a mutual uh, consent so you share you get back you give you get back so good luck on making friends and um, uh, try to make as many friends as you can because ultimately we are living in a world that requires a lot of connectivity thank you